Alrighty, watch fans. We took uh, last week off uh, in offering a hotness pick, uh, mainly because I was out of town doing some business. Hopefully uh, have some more news for you on that uh, here before too long. Uh, but here to help celebrate Halloween. Boo! Uh, did I scare you? No, probably not. Uh, Wing Liang, my buddy, the Mad Sifu co-owner, chief designer, head bottle washer, at Android USA has stepped up to the plate helping us celebrate Halloween with a scary good deal on this hotness pick. What you're looking at is the Sky Guardian which you've seen a version of that before but that's alright this one's different several things are different it's not the same watch still a pilot style inspiration as you've probably already been able to tell but it's a scary good deal Notice how I worked Halloween in there. Scary good deal. 89 bucks. 89 bucks. 170 get you two of these watches. 240 will get you all three. So Wing has put together a great deal. Now I'm just going to run through the three options that are available for you. Then I'll get into a brief review of the watch. And then we'll be done. You can go hit the buy button. And then go uh, eat some Halloween candy. For those of you uh, going trick-or-treating, or those of you stealing it from your kids, because we know who you are. But, here's the first option that you are going to see. It is going to be the black option. Charcoal black dial, black, softly textured or pebbled strap that has been done on that. In the all 316L stainless steel, unplated. Okay? Our next option, as we try these wonderful video skills here, is going to be the blue option. And it is a unique shade of blue. I'm not always a blue fan. This is one of my two favorites out of the three. This is a uh, not a navy blue, although you can see it is a radiant um, <clears throat> excuse me, sunray finish that's been done on the dial. Very unique shade of blue which goes beautifully with this, I'm really not going to call it brown, just tilting this forward so you can see it better, really a dark tan, genuine leather strap, 24 millimeters wide, about 5 millimeters thick, white contrast box stitching, been done on that, there you can see the two rivets, but I think if he would have went with a darker strap, it would have ruined the contrast with the blue, this works beautifully, really like this. That uh, dark tan, or brown if you must, with this really unique lighter in shade blue that's been done on the dial. Lastly, which is my other favorite here in the pick, and we'll try the wonderful videography there, is going to be, uh, I believe he's calling this one Rose. Um, to me, it comes off brass. If he is actually calling this one uh, Rose, and I apologize, uh, I should have looked at that. Um, we talked about the watch. I just didn't ask about this one. Beautiful color. Love the, uh, or he may just be calling it brown, but I love the radiant sunray finish that's been done on the dial. And this is, by the way, let me tilt that for you, going back to that very gently pebbled or textured strap that's been done on that one as well. So that's your three options. You can get one for 89, two for 170, or all three for 240. I think I got that right. If not, it's on the screen. Just yeah, bear with me. But here's the deal I want to put out to you, right? Christmas is coming up, Hanukkah's coming up, a festivus for the rest of us is coming up for those of you that know that reference. Um, who do you have on your list that you are going to spend $89 on for Christmas? How many people could you knock off your list with this hotness pick? I think it's a great opportunity uh, to really be able to pick this up. And oh, by the way, did I say Miyota 9015 freehand automatic movement that is inside of that 28,800 vibrations per hour with that 24 jeweled excellence? that's in there. Great movement, great watch. Uh, you're looking at about 48 millimeters in case diameter 
and uh, the strap on this about nine and three quarters so it is going to be very ample for you larger wristed folks so that's the quick overview I'm going to give a very quick detailed review then show the obligatory wrist shot and then we're done you can go hit the buy button all right so I'm gonna use the black option here to run through everything give you a quick yet informative humorous and well done detailed review of this particular timepiece once again we are talking about the Android Sky Guardian 9015 referring to the movement that is inside of that the Miyota 24 Joule 9015 freehand automatic movement okay now as we look at this very very quickly about a 47 48 millimeter case diameter and once again for those of you that are new I am showing you the way that we measure that this way not this way we don't include the lock and crown guard which we will get to as a part of the review now I call this the Goldilocks size watch why do I call it a Goldilocks size anybody can wear it those of you that like the larger watches can wear it those of you that like the smaller watches can wear it and yes ladies I think you can pull this off as well larger a little bit of a boyfriend style look but easy to wear especially because it is on the leather strap which means lighter in weight and by the way it's gonna come in at about uh, 138 to 140 grams so not tremendously heavy now front and back you're talking about impact resistant mineral crystal so you're gonna get the best of both worlds impact resistance and scratch resistance in that hardened mineral crystal this one is giving you a black charcoal black dial as pretty much pretty much always wing is using superluminova this is white superluminova as you see it will glow that pale green now you're getting that on everywhere you see that the 12 3 6 and 9 the hour markers a minute you'll notice the very large broadsword style hands filled in with that as well as the tip of that smoothly sweeping second hand and I believe even the uh, AD logo that you see right there on the opposite end the short end of the uh, sweep second hand is done in superluminova as well 316L stainless steel two of the options like this one and also the blue dial version are the unplated 316L stainless steel the watch mm, thickness wise let me turn this a little bit so you can see the profile I'm gonna call it about 16 17 millimeters it is a fairly thick watch one of the things I do want you to notice which was a nice addition which just shows you the level of detail work that wing thinks about are the uh, grooves here or lines if you prefer to call them that that have been machined into the lug area um, huge cost thing eh, not really uh, but it does help break things up and draw the eye to the watch itself so it's a nice little addition there uh, I know many of you will have picked up on that very very quickly now the strap I'm just gonna turn this all the way around like so this is by the way speaking of the strap on quick release pens so if you've got a different look you want to put on this with a bracelet maybe a NATO something along those lines you can certainly do that but going with the military inspiration and in particular the pilot watch look of this timepiece you have the two rivets that have been done into this configuration here then you've got a 24 millimeter wide leather strap very softly pebbled meaning there's a little bit of texture that's been done on that white contrast box stitching that you can see running all the way there again another identifier if you will of a pilot inspired timepiece now let's turn this back around and oh it's uh, about five millimeters or so in thickness 
Um, very easy to wear, not much break in time is going to be needed on this particular strap either, so keep that in mind. One thing I do want you to notice is going to be, I'm just looking for a good angle here, and let's just go with this. Now, attached to the 47, 48 millimeter case, and do notice that it is a very large dial opening. Fixed bezel design, there is no decorative uh, use or functionality with that, so it is fixed, but very thin, so you're getting a very large dial opening. For those of you that have watched uh, the Hotness Pick videos, or seen me when I was still on television, you know that that is a way of making the watch look bigger. Now, what is also going to make the watch look bigger is this very cool oversized crown protector that has been done on the Sky Guardian 9015. Now, the reason it's going to make it look larger is obviously because you have this protrusion sticking out here. Now, it's a very unique factor. Very cool. Um, I'm not saying in any way that Wing copied anybody because Wing does his absolute best to come up with totally unique designs. But one of my favorite watch brands uh, that unfortunately really can't afford uh, is uh, Graham. They're Chrono Fighters. Many of you may be familiar with that. That's the first thing I kind of thought of. And the reason I thought of that is not because this watch looks like a Graham, but just because. I like this. I like this large, oversized. Now, in this case, it's a crown protector. Sometimes they do uh, function pushers in a crazy way. But that's the first thing I thought of because I like this. Now, you can see the Android name has been done on that. And what that's pr doing is protecting this crown, which is now set. Usually, you see the crown at the 3. Now, it's set not fully at the 4. It's at, at about the uh, 330 position as is, by the way, the single date display that you see right there, non-magnified date display. But to get to the crown, you just flip this bad boy up. Okay, There's your crown. There's where you're going to manipulate everything. 200 meters water resistant, by the way. Then when you're done, you just flip everything back down to lock it in place. Now, I did not get a chance to ask Wang, and I apologize about this, but it feels like the locking mechanism is here. Okay. Normally when you find these locking crown guards, you, you know, the click as you close it or click as you open it and something you got to hook a fingernail. This is very easy to operate but stays in position very, very nicely. Uh, the strap again, I don't know if I mentioned this. If I didn't, I will mention it now. <clears throat> about nine and three quarters inches I will try to remember here in just a moment and give you the uh, obligatory wrist shot so you can see it on my wrist some of you uh, like that so I will continue to try and do that for you uh, so a great look overall now the movement just very very quickly on that so I can throw this out there to you Miota 9015 as I said a 24 joule three hand automatic movement operating at 28,800 vibrations per hour for those of you that have seen other presentations that, that I've done you have heard this before but I'll say it very very quickly a couple of things in regards to this $89 for anything with a Miota 9015 functional really even if it's not functional is an incredible deal this is one of three movements brought out by Miyota not too terribly long ago that are their upgrades these are the movements that are competing with the Swiss brands and in particular this movement is going to uh, be a heads-up competitor to the ETA 2824-2 and in my opinion to at least some degree the 2893, which is really the upgraded version of the 2824 for those of you that study your watch movements. Um, the, it is uh, more highly jeweled. Uh, it is uh, extremely accurate for a uh, automatic timepiece. Very, very smooth. As you can see, that second hand sweeping around because it is 28,800 vibrations per hour instead of the normal 21,600 vibrations per hour that you see on most of the Asian automatics. So, the other thing about this movement to keep in mind, which I've already brought up on a different presentation, but 
this is the last of the quantity that Wing can get on the 9015 until what is planned to be uh, 2016. No new models coming out in 2014 with this, none coming out in 2015, and then hopefully, uh, all depending on how the swatch thing goes, uh, but hopefully in 2016 to make a return. And speaking of not seen, this particular timepiece, the Sky Guardian that you see here, the 9015 automatic, is being retired. It is going away. So this is probably your last opportunity to pick this up at what Wing told me is the lowest price that he has ever done. Uh, I believe on Shop HQ he said he was doing these um, somewhere in the 170 to 180 to I think it was 220 or 240 range. But look. $89 for one of these is a phenomenal deal. If you're looking for that first automatic in your collection, this is the watch for you. If you're looking for um, that automatic for a friend at the holidays, this is it. If you're just looking to save uh, several dollars, uh, this is it. With the holiday season coming up and Wing giving you a buy more, save more kind of configuration here, meaning 170 for two watches or all three for 240, it is an incredible deal. Hanukkah, Festivus, Christmas, just because. Um, if you're just getting into watch collecting and wanting a great timepiece, this is for you as well. Additionally, remember, because of the... Um, Quick change pins, sorry about that. Uh, quick change pins that have been done on this, even if this particular style is not you, uh, run over to Panatime or pick up one of your favorite bracelets. Throw it on this watch. Throw on a NATO, throw on a different strap. Just get straps to be able to change it up and have a different look. You've got options here. This price is really too good to pass up. So once again, Android Sky Guardian, 9015, $89 for one of these bad boys is a silly, ridiculous deal. Wing has stepped up to the plate. Spectacular, scary good deal for Halloween. Click the buy button, grab your watch. Then go eat some of your kids' candy. Thanks for taking a look at it. Hope you picked this up. Great deal. Thanks, everybody. Okay, just real quick before we finish things up, wanted to give you the obligatory wrist shot that some of you seem to like. Here is this option on my wrist. My wrist is uh, in between, right around eight, eight and a quarter. So you can see how well this fits on the wrist. Shorter lugs going to fit very well. Obviously the strap version. There you can see the Android decorated buckle, dual keeper system. I tend to wear my watches a little looser on the wrist. Yours may vary. Of course you can always change this strap out to something more to your preference. Just trying to give you all the angles that I can. And I do want you to notice one thing that is important about this. I just brought this up. I'll keep it really brief. But this really does not dig into the wrist as you might expect, or the arm, uh, since I am left-handed wearing this on my right wrist. Um, so very, very comfortable. Don't let this throw you off. If, the, if you're new to this, this uh, 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 crown guard, locking crown guard that's been done on this is still very, very comfortable. Very easy to wear. Looks good on the wrist. Dress it up, dress it down. I think you're in good shape. Anyway, thanks again for taking a look. Grab yours. Let me know which one you got.